Hello friends, I'm Archbishop Peter Comensoli and I'd like to speak to you about our commitment in the Archdiocese of Melbourne to the safety of our children and young people who are in our care. Let me begin by acknowledging the real tragedy of child sexual abuse in the life of the Catholic Church in our country. I want to unreservedly apologise for the wrongs that have been perpetrated. I am profoundly sorry that some clergy, religious and laity have acted in such criminal ways entirely contrary to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are all painfully aware of victims of abuse who have not been heard or believed and perpetrators who have not been removed from ministry. Too frequently, the cries of our children and young people were simply overlooked. As adults, victim survivors continue to experience profound pain and suffering. For some, the suffering was too great and they are no longer with us. For others, justice came too slowly. And for others again, the journey of healing and reparation continues today. If you have experienced abuse, can I encourage you to come forward with your story? If you're suffering now, let us know. There's information on the screen. As the Archbishop of Melbourne, I'm committed to the active prevention and resolute responsiveness to concerns and allegations of child sexual abuse. I seek to build a culture of safety in our Archdiocese. I call on all within the Archdiocese to adopt unequivocally the centrality of the safe participation of children and young people in the life and activities of the church. The well-being of children and young people in our care must always be our first priority. It's the way of Jesus Christ. They should feel safe in the church and must be safe. I also want to acknowledge and thank all in our archdiocese, laity, religious and clergy, who are already working to enhance the many positive and enriching interactions that are afforded to children and young people through their own participation in the church. Together, we commit ourselves to preventing abuse by taking active steps to embed the Victorian Child Safe Standards, the Reportable Conduct Scheme, and the church's own Integrity in Ministry framework. There's some steps that we are currently taking such as the thorough selection and screening processes we have for all clergy employees and volunteers. We're equipping our clergy and religious and volunteers to create a culture of child safety. We're providing an open door for those who want to come forward to report a concern, either from the past or presently, about abuse. We seek to take prompt and appropriate action when allegations of abuse are reported. We want to listen to the voices of children and young people and equip them to speak up when they feel unsafe. We can all play a part in keeping our children and young people safe. It's a gospel responsibility to do so. So please join me on this vital journey and in this important work. Thank you.